There's a a set of twins. (laughs) In any event, he's desperate. He can't even afford a hospital room for his wife. Well, I know where there's a semi-private room if she doesn't mind dogs. (laughs) I mean, how much would you like to borrow, Mr. Conklin? Well, I've asked many of my friends for five or ten dollars. I see. Well, I guess But you're such an old friend, Miss Brooks, I feel that I can ask you for fifteen. Before our friendship gets any older, here's the fifteen (laughs) dollars. Oh, thank you, Miss Brooks. You're sure you won't miss it? No, I won't miss it. The people I owe a repair bill on my car might miss it, but I'll take care of that later. Very well. That'll be all, then. Dismissed. Excuse me, Miss Brooks, but may I sit at this table with you? The school cafeteria is pretty crowded today. Oh, sit down, Mr. Boynton. You'll forgive me if I go ahead with my lunch. Oh, of course. I want to eat this salad while it's still warm. (laughs) There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Yes, Mr. Boynton? I've heard from many people how generous and warm-hearted you are under your veneer of seeming sophistication. Of course, I've always known that you're true blue, a hundred percent human being deep down below the surface. Why, Mr. Boynton, you've been peeking at my (laughs) x-rays. I'm serious. I know that I can appeal to you for assistance without fear of embarrassment. And I know when you hear my story, you'll want to help. Et tu, Boynton? (laughs) Well, what's your story? Well... I have this friend who's also a biologist. From a poor family? No, no, his family's very wealthy, as a matter of fact. But he's married and has seven children and one on the way. No, he's a single chap. (laughs) But he's got a bad sickness. No, no, he's in the pink of condition. Oh, wait a minute, I know. His little puppy broke its leg. Oh, he hasn't any puppy, but his great Dane just won a blue ribbon. Wrong again. But give that lady a box of Red Heart and two tickets to next week's flea circus. Look, Mr. Boynton, I'll bet your friend's horse is so lame he can't even ride him to work, hmm? Well, my friend drives a Cadillac. Uh, 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 if you'll just let me finish, I'll be as brief as possible. You see, he's leaving town, and he's got about 30 white mice and frogs that he wants to give me. Oh, so that's it. They're sick. Oh, no, not at all. They're wonderful specimens. But they're orphans. Please, Miss Brooks, what I'm trying to tell you is that... I'll need about $20 for the added equipment it'll require to house them. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Here, Mr. Boynton, here's $18. It's all I have left. Let a couple of the mice double up. (laughs) Thank you, Miss Brooks. I certainly appreciate this, but are you sure you won't miss it? No, I won't miss it. The people I owe the payments on my car, watch, and coat might miss it, but I'll take care of that later. There's only one thing that's not going to be put off, Mr. Boynton. Oh, what's that? A green alligator bag I've got my deep down underneath little warm heart set on. My first stop after school will be the nearest bank that lends money. All right, all right. Attention, quiet, please. Now then, Harriet, it was your idea to have this surprise party for Miss Brooks. Suppose you outlined the plan. All right, Daddy. First of all, did we all borrow enough from Miss Brooks to keep her from getting that bag she wants? Mrs. Davis and I took five dollars each from her. I nailed her for a... uh, That is... (laughs) I appropriated 15. And she loaned me 18 dollars. Good for you, Mr. Boynton. I'm afraid it's not good enough, Mr. Conklin. She told me at lunch she was going to the bank and borrow the money for the bag. Oh, golly, that'll spoil everything. I know. Why don't we call the store and tell them under no circumstances to sell her that bag? Tell them uh, we're buying it. Excellent, Walter. It's a wonder that that agile mind of yours doesn't function quite so efficaciously in the schoolroom. Gosh, thanks, Mr. Conklin. (laughs) Then I'll run down to the store, pick up the bag, and take it home. Now, who'll get Miss Brooks and bring her over to our house? Oh, I will. I'll call for her at about 5 o'clock and bring her over to your house at 6. Fine. Now, synchronize watches, everybody. (laughs) Let's see, confidential loan department. This is it. Uh, Pardon me, I've read your ads, but I'd still like to be assured that any business we transact will be strictly confidential. You may be quite certain of that, miss. (laughs) What? 
I said we treat all our transactions with the utmost secrecy. <laughs> well, you can let me in on it. <laughs> I'd like to borrow about $35. Yes, ma'am. What is your occupation, please? I'm a school teacher. How long have you been teaching and at what school, please? Five years at Madison High. <laughs> and how do you sound when you've got laryngitis? Very comical. <laughs> you write your name and address down and I'll get you the money. Is that all there is to it? Yes, we don't believe in a lot of red tape. Oh. All you have to do is sign a few papers. First here. Yes. Now here. Right. Now this one. There you are. Now here. Mm-hmm. And here. Again. And this one. Yes. And now we'll start on the second page. <laughs> here. Yes. And here. Mm-hmm. And here. Mm-hmm. And here. And here. And here. you, madam? It's Miss, Miss Brooks. I'd like to see an item your department has been featuring in your window display. Uh, what item is that, Miss Brooks? It's a green alligator. What? A green alligator. I've seen it in your window every day for weeks now. Have you ever heard of Alcoholics Anonymous? (laughs) Do you mean to tell me you don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, not at all, Miss Brooks. You know you don't know what you're talking about, don't you? (laughs) Or do you? (laughs) Of course I do. Let's start all over again. There's a purse made of green alligator skin that's been in your window for the past... Oh, that thing. Oh, you wouldn't want to own that. Why, it wouldn't do a thing for you. It wouldn't have to. I've got a job. (laughs) May I see it, please? Uh, uh, funny thing about that model, I sold the last one not a half hour ago to, uh, uh, Miss H. Conklin, I believe. Well, couldn't you get one just like it if I... H. Conklin? That's Harriet. Why, that little demon. Maybe if I get her another bag, she'll trade me the green one. No, she wears a lot of green. Besides, she has alligator shoes, too. Well, I might as well go over to her house and see what I can do anyway. Um, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your monologue. But, uh, H. Conklin won't be home for a while. She said she had a lot of shopping to do. And then she's going to get a manicure at Antoine's. Well, I'll go to her house and wait. Thank you, and good day, J. Edgar Hoover. (laughs) Coming! Hello, Mrs. Conklin. Is Harriet at home? Why, no, Miss Brooks. She's out doing some last-minute shopping for the... Miss Brooks! Isn't it terribly early? I mean, um, with the days getting shorter all the time, it seems like about five o'clock. It is five o'clock. May I come in, Mrs. Conklin? Oh, of course. Who's that at the door, Martha? Oh, it's you, Miss Brooks. Hello, Mr. Conklin. Martha, did Harriet get back with all... Miss Brooks! (laughs) Isn't it a little early? I mean, it only seems like five o'clock. Five one. (laughs) Sit down here in the living room a minute, Miss Brooks. Osgood, I'd like to talk to you. Yes, yes. Will you excuse us, please, Miss Brooks? Surely. Well, what happened? Why did you so early? Well, I don't know what it was. Well, Somebody must have flipped up. That's all I've got to say. I wonder if they've had a confidential loan lately. I'll be right there. Hello, Walter. Hello, Mrs. Conklin. I got all this stuff. Funny hats, noisemakers, confetti, and streamers. Oh, come on in the living room and we'll start decorating the place. Uh, but, Walter, uh, look who's here, Walter. Hi, Miss Brooks. Hi, Walter. Now, we'll take the streamers and we'll start in this corner of the room and we'll... Miss <laughs> Brooks! When you hear the tone, the time will be 5-2. This one's on me. Oh, hello, Mr. Conklin. I, I was just over to Mrs. Davis's house, but you... Say no uh, more. Say no more, Boynton. Come into the living room. Hello, Mr. Boynton. Hi. Oh, hello, Mrs. Conklin. Walter. Hello, Mr. Boynton. Oh, hello, Miss, Miss Brooks. As I started to say, Mr. Conklin, I went over to Mrs. Davis's to pick up Miss Brooks, but she... <laughs> Miss Brooks! <laughs> I know I'm terribly early, but I wish I knew for what. <laughs> I'll answer it. Must be Harriet. Hello, dear. Mrs. Davis. 
Come in, won't you? I got the bag, Mother, and I had it gift wrapped. Oh, it looks just super. I brought the cake, Martha. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, Mrs. Davis, Harriet. Hello, hello Miss Brooks. Brooks. Well, there's nothing else that we can do now but wait. Miss Brooks! Miss Brooks. <laughs> if somebody says Miss Brooks once more, I'm going to change my name to Lucy Pumpernickel. <laughs> Yes, the cat's out of the bag now. We might as well tell her. Miss Brooks, this little gathering is in honor of your birthday. My birthday? How do you like that? I forgot it again. Miss Brooks, as a token of our esteem and affection, may we present you with this little gift. Go on, Miss Brooks, open it. The gift is something you've wanted for a long time, Connie. Oh, the green alligator bag. So that's why everybody borrowed money from me today. Well, that's right. We, we didn't want you to get it for yourself. Well, this is certainly the nicest present anybody ever bought me, with or without my money. <laughs> oh, we didn't get this with your money, Miss Brooks. Look inside the purse. Why? Oh, what's this? Five, ten, twenty? It's all here. That's right, Miss Brooks. Well, now that we all know it's your birthday, suppose you tell us how old you are. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, our Miss Brooks, happy birthday to you. Eve Arden as our Miss Brooks returns in just one moment, but first... Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl. Tonight, you can see this come true, revealed by a luster cream shampoo. You'll see your hair lovelier, your wave or curls softer, more glamorous, easy to do quickly. Even in hardest water, luster cream shampoo leaves hair three ways lovelier. Fragrantly clean, easier to manage, brilliant with sheen. Don't wait. Tonight, use Luster Cream Shampoo. Not a soap, not a liquid, but a dainty, magical cream. Discover why it's by far the top favorite cream shampoo. Get the big jar, one dollar. Smaller sizes, either tubes or jars. Tonight, you can be a... Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful Luster Cream girl. You owe your crowning glory to... All Luster Cream Shampoo. And now, once again, here is our Miss Brooks. So, you see, I won't need the $35 I borrowed from you people yesterday. Here it is. Fine. The interest is practically nothing. Oh, that's nice. May I have a receipt, please? Of course. Just sign here. Yes. And 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 here. Good into another Our Miss Brooks show brought to you by Carmelly Soap, Your Beauty Hope, and Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous dream girl hair. Our Miss Brooks, starring Eve Arden, is produced by Larry Burns, written and directed by Al Lewis, with music by Wilbur Hatch. Dentists know what cleans teeth best, and over 4,000 dentists say Colgate Tooth Powder with a two-minute routine gets teeth sparkling and super clean. So to remove dull film and get your teeth shining clean, just brush teeth two minutes morning and night with Colgate Tooth Powder. Brush inside, outside, and biting surfaces. Always brush away from the gums. See how quickly this gets teeth naturally bright. It removes dull film that improper brushing misses. And Colgate Tooth Powder also sweetens your breath. Try it. Buy Colgate Tooth Powder today. For mystery liberally sprinkled with laughs, listen to Mr. and Mrs. North. Tune in Tuesday evenings over most of these same stations. And be with us again next week at the same time for another comedy episode of Our Miss Brooks. Bob Lamont speaking for CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.